Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Extension filers, irs.gov, irs.gov, irs.gov is the source for summertime tax help. Agency encourages people to file soon. Breaking down that headline, the IRS is basically saying, stop calling us, just use our website. We have neither the capacity nor the desire to talk to you. Although we did add two brand new bot options to our telephone answering machine. Also, you best get your dang tax returns filed soon if you know what's best for you. That's right, I'm looking at you, Tommy. Anyways, first an attempt at a joke. There must be a lot of scientists out there, the ones that actually do the grunt work of science. Oh, I'm the one that does the grunt work. Things like performing empirical test after empirical test to see how the world really works. How does it work? Possibly trying to understand something as complicated as the human genome. Complicated? What's complicated? Which contains so much data, it would be like trying to make a detailed map of the multiverse. Who get fed up with political scientists. By political scientists, I don't mean philosophers of politics, but rather scientists who are really politicians. Political scientists. I know, terms are getting confusing these days. They must get particularly angry with the scientists who are really politicians, political scientists, that are primarily self-motivated. Because that means they're not actually scientifically motivated or motivated by seeking truth. I care about the truth. Scientists are usually a calm and reserved bunch, but can you imagine if a real scientist finally got mad at a political scientist like Dr. Fauci? Doctor, we believe that the purpose of science is to serve mankind. You, however, seem to regard science as some kind of dodge or hustle. Your theories are the worst kind of popular tripe, your methods are sloppy, and your conclusions are highly questionable. You are a poor scientist, Dr. But what about my gain-of-function labs in China? The Chinese are really treating me well over there. And I feel like we're totally in the clear now with that whole COVID thing. It being taken care of by my brilliant wet market bat-eating story. We'll no longer continue any funding of any kind for your group's activity. Ah, oh, but the communists love us. IR 2022-137, July 13th, 2022, Washington. With millions of people still waiting to file their tax returns. Procrastinators, just kidding. The IRS reminds them to file as soon as possible and take advantage of special tools available on the IRS.gov, IRS.gov, IRS.gov. V for victory over tax questions, because you're not going to get much victory on the phone. They can help them file. Summer may be a busy time for many, but it's a great time to start tax planning. So that's the first thing people usually think when summertime comes around. I'm going to have a little bit more time. I could do some tax planning. Whether you still need to file a 2021 tax return or start planning for next year's tax season. So even if you're up to date on stuff, you already filed your tax return on time and you're not on extension. Of course, you still could do some tax planning in summertime. That's what it's for. That's why we have a summer. So the IRS website is the fastest and most convenient way to get tax related information and help. So they're basically of course saying here, don't call us, use the website. We have nor the time nor the capacity to talk to people on the phones. Although we did improve our answering machine as we talked about earlier with a couple bot options. The online tools are available anytime so taxpayers can use them at their convenience. So 24 seven websites, amazing. How does the IRS even do that? Their website's up 24 seven? Wow. So here are some important reasons for taxpayers to visit irs.gov this summer. Get tax information 24 seven. Their website never crashes, like for the most part. Taxpayers can use irs.gov too view the filing page there's a link to that here to get information on most federal income tax topics access the interactive tax assistance tool there's a link to that here for answers to many tax law questions sign into their individual irs online account there's a link to that here to view their balance on tax records manage uh, communication preferences make payments and more find the most up-to-date information about their tax refunds using the where's my refund tool and obviously if you call the irs looking for some of these things like 
like the refund, for example, they're probably just going to be using the same tool to look it up. So you might as well be using the website for uh, for some of this general kind of question stuff. Taxpayers can check the status of their refund 24 hours after the IRS acknowledges receipt of an e-filed return. Taxpayers can also download the official IRS mobile app, IRS2Go, which is clearly the super cool way to, to interact with the IRS. You could be, you know, out and about on a roller coaster or something and then pay your tax bill or something. I don't have it yet because I'm not super cool, but uh, I'm going to look into that app, the app on my phone. So check their refund status, make payments, find free tax preparation assistance, sign up for helpful tax tips and more just right from the IRS to go app. Adjust withholding now to avoid tax surprises next year. So make sure you got your withholdings lined up because you know the IRS is wielding those sticks, penalties and interest to hit you with if you don't have, metaphorically speaking, if you don't pay the right way. Summer is a great time for taxpayers to check their withholding to avoid a tax surprise next filing season. Life events like marriage, divorce, having a child, or change in income can affect taxes. So any of these big life choices, marriage, divorce, having a child, you should of course do the tax planning first. And if the tax is in a favorable uh, condition, then move forward with like getting married or divorcing or having a child or something. But don't just kidding you probably don't want to do it just like that but you do want to have a consideration that they will have a significant tax implication and make sure that you are prepared for that as you uh, make your choices most likely not completely dependent on the tax code so the irs tax withholding estimator there's a link to that here on irs.gov helps employees assess their income tax credits adjustments and deductions and determine whether they need to change their withholding so you can check your withholdings online pretty much everybody wants to kind of do this these days because the last few years have been quite turbulent in terms of the taxes because Usually we like kind of a static tax code because it's already too complex for us to actually figure out what the taxes will be. Therefore, we have to estimate the taxes. That's why we overshoot aiming for a refund uh, to get back. And now it's even more turbulent because we went through the COVID thing. People are switching up jobs. People are probably taking more than one job in a year. For example, multiple people might be working and going in and out of jobs and households. You might be picking up more gig work. We also have families that aren't like single family earning families anymore. You got multiple earning families and so on and so forth. Plus, the tax code is changing a lot over the last few years, especially for low to moderate income individuals. And therefore, it's really hard to get the withholdings right. So you got to have basically a software to project the withholdings in ter terms of how much you're going to need to withhold. That's what this tax withholding estimator is getting more and more uh, to be basically software that you could use to project your withholdings, helping you to fill out your W-4s and or make quarterly payments. So if a change is recommended, the estimator will provide instructions to update their withholding with their employer, either online or by submitting a new form W-4 employee withholding allowance certificate. So that's the certificate you give to the employer to tell them that you want to up the withholding. Don't expect to get uh, tax advice from your employer, even though they're the ones taking your money because they're not really the ones taking your money. The w well, they are, but they're the ones that are required to take your money by the government and, and they don't want to give tax advice because they don't want to get sued. So they just want you to file the W-4 and tell them what to do so they can do it and keep everybody happy, including the government and you try not to get sued from either direction. <laughs> so file electronically. Taxpayers who request an extension uh, to October 17th or miss the April 18th deadline, there's a link to that here, can still prepare and file and e-file returns for free with IRS free file. So this is becoming more and more mandatory again as the tax code gets more complicated, as the tax code has been changing a lot from the past few years. Hopefully it'll get back to a static nature so we can plan more better and not have this kind of uncertainty with the laws and whatnot. But uh, you could still file for free using the free file software. The software is becoming more and more useful and necessary to file the tax return. So if your income is below a certain threshold, you can get access to that. If you wait till after the extension filing deadline, basically I'm imagining the IRS has these tax uh, software companies with their arms behind their back and they're torturing them to f offer the software for free due to all the fact that they got all these changes that are happening and low to moderate income people need access to software just to do their tax returns. But they, they can only keep the 
software providers in that like chill cold until the extension filing deadline and then you'll have to pay for the software if you want the software after that point so take advantage of the software when it's available if that would be applicable to you the irs accepts electronically filed returns 24 7 it's amazing their their machine over there doesn't sleep it's like 24 7 you could file the tax return there's it's just like the mailbox you could put the thing in the mail like at any time and the mailbox doesn't get tired you can open like it opens its mouth like even at midnight but anyway there's no reason to wait until october 17th uh, if filers have all the information and documentation they need to file an accurate tax return they can get their refund faster by choosing direct deposit so direct deposit get the refund faster taxpayers who missed the april 18th deadline and O should file and pay electronically as soon as possible to reduce penalties and interest. Remember, there's a difference between the filing deadline and the payment deadline. If you owe money, if you owe taxes, the IRS, although you went on extension, will still be charging you penalties and interest on the amount that you owe. Therefore, it would behoove you. Yes, behoove. You could uh, hoove to be. I don't know. Uh, well, that's a weird word, but it would behoove you to file it. Uh, sooner or at least pay the taxes that you owe sooner so the iris doesn't have to get their sticks out and start whacking you in the head with penalties and metaphorically speaking taxpayers can make payments or set up payment plans online find a taxpayer assistance center so the taxpayer assistance center locator tool there's a link to that here has a new look and feel that's great featuring a dynamic map directions button and two tabs for inputting search criteria Woo, fanciness. It's important to remember that uh, taxpayer assistance centers operate by appointment only. So you got to make an appointment if you want to talk to the taxpayer assistance center. Taxpayers can make an appointment by calling the number for the office they want to visit. Read information in other languages so you can interact with the IRS in other languages. Although no matter what language you're reading in, it's still legalese and therefore you won't understand a thing. But in any case, many IRS websites, there's a link to that here, are now available in Spanish, Vietnamese, Russian, Korean, Haitian, Creole, and Chinese. Some of the multilingual resources, there's a link to that here, include Taxpayer Bill of Rights, e-file sources, and many tax forms and publications. Access to the Alternative Media Center. Alternative Media, it sounds, that's, that sounds like it's like some kind of uh, uh, not, not good thing. It's, well, we're, We've got alternative media here instead of, anyway. At the online alternative media center, otherwise known as the AMC, the AMP, AMC, uh, taxpayers uh, will find a variety of accessible products to help with the use of assistive technology such as green reading uh, software, refreshable braille displays, and screen uh, magnifying software. So those could be useful, obviously, for particular situations, the Braille and the magnification software. So these products include tax forms, instructions, and publications that can be downloaded or viewed online as Section 508 compliant PDFs, HTML, eBraille, text, and large print. So please note that every product is not available in all formats. For example, tax forms are not available as HTML. To request paper copies of tax forms and instructions or publications in braille or large print, taxpayers can call the tax form telephone number at 800-829-3676. There'll be a link to this if you want to go back and check it out here. Taxpayers can complete form 9000 alternative media preference. There's a link to that here to choose to receive the IRS tax notices in braille, large print, audio, or electronic formats. This includes notices about additional taxes or penalties owed. Taxpayers can include the complete form with their tax return, mail it as a standalone form to the IRS, or they can call 800-829-1040. There'll be a link to this so you can check out all those links and look at the phone numbers. I won't read them five times at this time. Uh, keep current with IRS tax tips. Taxpayers can subscribe to IRS tax tips here. So that's, we, we were looking at tax tips and well, this is tax news. You can, you can subscribe to the tax news too if you want to get easy to read articles sent directly to their email from the IRS. Tax tips are brief <clears throat> to the point and cover various topics, tax topics like year-round tax planning and understanding taxpayer rights. You've got a right 
to pay your dang taxes. There's links to that here. More helpful links. There's links below. We got the Gig Economy Tax Center. So if you work in the Gig Economy, the IRS likes to remind you that uh, you still owe taxes. Child Independent Care Credit and uh, About Form W-2. There's links to all that stuff. There's links to all the other stuff I said there was a link to. And there'll be a link to this in the description.